Hello, I am Sujoy and I am back with another numerical method video for you. Today I will tell you how to solve a system of three linear equations by matrix inverse method. There are many other ways for solving system of linear equations like Gaussian elimination method, gauss jordan elimination method, Kramer's rule, adjoint matrix method, Gaussian compact scheme etc. I have videos on all the those topics. If you want to watch any of my previous videos, link to all of them is given in the video description below. And for your kind information, I have uploaded more than 55 plus videos on numerical methods covering vast array of topics in numerical methods or the numerical analysis subject. So let's start today's video. Our question is solve the following equations by the matrix inverse method. Our equations are 4x minus y plus 3z equals to 17. This is equation 1. Next, x plus y plus z equals to 6. This is equation 2. And 2x plus y plus 2z equals to 11. This is equation 3. So let's proceed to the solution. We know a into capital X equals to b. Where a is the matrix which is obtained by writing all the coefficients from here. 4 minus 1, 3, 4 minus 1, 3 in row 1. For equation 2, 1, 1, 1, so 1, 1, 1 in row 2 and 2 plus 1 plus 2, 2 plus 1 plus 2 for row 3 into x where x is the matrix of unknowns. We have three unknowns or three variables x, y and z. So that is denoted by the capital X matrix equals to the B matrix. B is the matrix which contains all the constants 17, 6 and 11. So we know capital A into capital X equals to capital B. So A inverse into B equals to X. So first we will find out the A inverse by the Gauss Jordan method. So we know if first number into second number if equals to a third number then inverse of the first number into the third number should be equal to the second number. Similarly inverse of the second number into the third number should be equal to the first number. So for example the inverse of 4 that is the first number into the third number that is 8 should be equal to the second number. So 1 by 4 into 8 is equal to 2. So that we have applied here. If a into x equals to b, then a inverse into b must be equals to x. So first we need to find out the a inverse by Gauss-Jordan method. So for Gauss-Jordan, we need to construct an augmented matrix. Augmented matrix means first we will write the matrix A from here. Next we will draw a vertical bar and on the right hand side we will write an identity matrix. Identity matrix means a matrix where the diagonal elements are all 1 and every other element are all 0. So matrix A is now augmented or extended. Now we will do uh, convert this matrix A into an identity matrix and automatically the right hand side matrix will become the A inverse in the process. So let's do it. So to get the identity matrix on left hand side first we need to get a 0 as in here also one zero at this position as in here. To get a zero at this position, we can multiply this one by four and subtract this four from that. Similarly, to get a zero at this position, we can multiply this two by two and subtract this four from that. So that I have written here, R2 or row two equals to the 4 into R2 minus R1. Similarly, for row 3, the R3 or row 3 will be 2 times of row 3 
minus the R1. So let's do it. 1 into 4 is 4 minus the 4 equals to 0. 1 into 4 is 4 minus of minus 1 is equals to plus 5. 1 into 4 is 4 minus 3 is 1. And you have to do the operation on the augmented side also. So 0 into 4 is 0 minus 1 is minus 1. 1 into 4 is 4 minus 0 is 4. 0 into 4 is 0 minus 0 is 0 written here. So we have got the row 2. Next we have to do the row 3 operation. 2 into 2, 4, minus 4 is 0. 1 into 2, 2, minus of minus 1, that is plus 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3. 2 into 2, 4, minus 3 is 1 written here. Similarly, you have to do the operation on the augmented side. 0 into 2 is 0, minus 1 is minus 1. 0 into 2 is 0, minus 0 is 0 and 1 into 2 is 2 minus 0 is 2 written here. Next we will convert this to 0 and this to 0. To convert this to 0 we can multiply this minus 1 by 3 that will become minus 3 and add that 3 to that one. So 3 plus minus 3 is 0. Similarly to get a 0 at this position we can subtract this one from the one above. We will get a zero. That I have written here R1 is equals to 3 into R1 plus R3. And for R2, R2 equals to R2 minus R3. So 4 into 3 is 12 minus 0 is 12. Minus 1 into 3 is minus 3. Plus 3 is 0. And 3 into 3 9 plus 1 is 10. Similarly, 1 to 3 3 plus minus 1. That is plus 2. 0 into 3 is 0. Plus 0 is 0. And 0 into 3 is 0. Plus 2 is plus 2. Next for R2, 0 minus 0 is 0 written here. 5 minus 3 is 2 written here. 1 minus 1 is 0 written here. Minus 1 minus of minus 1. So that is minus 1 plus 1 0 written here. 4 minus 0 4 written here. And 0 minus 2 is minus 2 written here. Next we need a 1 at this position. For that we will divide the row 2 by 2. So that I have written here R2 equals to R2 by 2. So 0 by 2 is 0. 2 by 2 is 1. 0 by 2 is 0. 0 by 2 is 0. And 4 by 2 is 2. And minus 2 by 2 is minus 1. Next we will convert this 3 into 0. For that we can multiply the row 2 by 3 and subtract that from the row 3. That I have written here R3 equals to R3 minus 3 into R2. 0 minus 3 into 0 is 0. 3 minus 3 into 1 is 0. And 1 minus 3 into 0 is 1. Minus 1 minus of 3 into 0 is minus 1. 0 minus of 
2 into 3 that is minus 6 and 2 minus 3 into minus 1 so that is 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 and minus of minus 3 is plus 3 so 2 plus 3 is 5 next we need a 0 at this position for that we can multiply this 1 by 10 and subtract that from this 10 so that I have written here r1 equals to r1 minus 10 into r3 so 12 minus 10 into 0 is 12 0 minus 10 into 0 is 0 10 minus 10 into 1 is 0 2 minus 10 into minus 1 so minus 1 into 10 is minus 10 and minus of minus 10 is plus 10 so 2 plus 10 is 12 and 0 minus of minus 6 into 10 so that is minus 60 minus of minus 60 is plus 60 and 0 plus 60 is plus 60 and 2 minus of 5 into 10 so 2 minus 5 into 10 50 is minus 48 and finally if we convert this 12 into 1 we will get our identity matrix so to convert this 12 into 1 we can divide the row 1 by 12 so that I have written here r1 equals to r1 by 12 so 12 by 12 is 1 0 by 12 is 0 0 by 12 is 0 and this 12 by 12 is 1 60 by 12 is plus 5 and minus 48 by 12 is minus 4 so since the left hand side matrix or our original A matrix is now converted into the identity matrix the right hand side matrix is now our A inverse so that I have written here and now we will multiply the A inverse with the matrix B or the constants matrix and we will get our required X matrix so let's do it 1 into 17 plus 5 into 6 plus minus 4 into 11 that's equals to plus 3 0 into 17 plus 2 into 6 plus minus 1 into 11 that's equals to plus 1 and minus 1 into 17 that is minus 17 plus minus 6 into plus 6 that is minus 36 plus 5 into 11 that is plus 55 that's equals to plus 2 so these are our required x matrix so we can say the x equals to 3 y equals to 1 and z equals to 2 you can easily verify it x is 3 so 4 into 3 is 12 y is 1 so minus 1 and z is 2 so 3 into 2 is plus 6 should be equals to 17 so 12 plus 6 is 18 minus 1 is 17 so our answer is correct so that's it for now this is my new series of videos where i am doing the computer aided teaching or cat so how are the videos let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so that you can stay connected with me and get regular update from me whenever i will upload my next video you will get an email if you subscribe and if you like the video please like and share the video because sharing is caring so thanks for watching, see you in my next video and still then stay connected by subscribing.